Let's make a simple table to practice our node structure on. Those of you that are yawning at this point, please feel free to move ahead in the video. <laughs> but for the folks that are just starting, there's some interesting things that you might learn here. We are in object mode. We have our cube. If you go way to the top of the panel here, remember the N key turns it on and off. You can see location, rotation, scale, and dimension. Our cube right now is two by two by two. So we're going to make a table. I'm going to make mine like a little coffee table. You can make yours any dimension you want. Normally, I would just stretch this, but I want you to understand that you can also do it this way. So we have the x dimension here, and x is this way when you're in front view. We're in front view. You can also look down here at this little widget and see that x is this way. So we're going to change x to 1. We're going to change y, that's going to be the width, to 0.5. And I'm going to change the height, that's z, 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 to 0.5. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and move that up, and we have our table. I'm going to switch to edit mode, either this way or with the tab key. I'm going to switch to edge select, right click on an edge, control R, move my mouse wheel once to make two different edge loops left click s x and drag and left click if we go from the side we'll do the same thing right click control r mouse wheel, left click, and this time we're going to be dragging on the Y axis, so it'll be S and Y. Okay, there we go. Now we need one more to make our tabletop. We have the legs, so I'm going to right click on this line here, Control R, left click, and just drag this up. There we go. In face select mode, I selected all the parts that I want to disappear and I'm going to delete them. Delete faces. I just hit the delete key to get that menu. Now, it looks like we have a little problem here, doesn't it? Our legs don't go all the way through. How can we fix that? Look, we can fix it. How did I do that? Well, it was a little tricky, but there's some new skills involved, and that's the whole idea. Here's how it works. You can extrude an edge as well as a face, and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go to edge select mode here, click on one of the leg edges, and we're going to do E for extrude, and then Y, because that's the direction we want to go in, and kind of guess where the leg edge is, and left click. And I'm going to do that with the other ones also. E, Y, it doesn't make any difference which edge, E, and this time it's going to be X, see, because of the direction we want to go in, E, X, okay, and this one is going to be X too. Okay, getting there. Now all we have to do is 
make a face by clicking on each one of these edges and hitting the F key. Okay, we have legs now. The only thing that we have to do now is click on each one of the edges. This is a little tricky, so you might have to try a couple times. I might too. We'll see how I do. To make a border that we want to have for the underside of our table. I think I got it. Let's see. Yes. And there is our table. Now there's one more thing we have to do to get our table so it's perfect. Remember how we kind of guessed where the table leg width was going to be? Well, we've got a little problem here. See, things don't really line up, but we can fix that. Going to Vertex Select, I'm going to click on this vertex first and then this one which is the one that goes to the bottom edge of the table leg w merge at last if i would have clicked on the vertex that went to the bottom first i could have gone w merge first i'm going to do that with the other three legs now I want to backtrack just a minute here because I did show you the most difficult possible way to make this table just in order to show you how to do some new things. So a much easier method would be to make the table top only and when we get to this point click on the four pieces that will become legs, the faces, and then we would go E for extrude, Z for the direction, and drag down. And if you click Z again, it will keep those legs straight. You can decide how tall you want your legs and then click. Now that was much easier, wasn't it? So if you get frustrated learning those new skills, come back and do it this way. There are lots of different ways that you can map this. I think I am going to map this by selecting all the pieces, U for unwrap, and use project from view. See how that transfers it over there? I can do the, I'll do the same thing for the back. U, project from view. I'm going to scoot this out of the way so that it's not on top of the other one and go on with the process. I'll meet you back here when I'm all done. Here's where I am with my table. Hopefully yours looks something like this, although it could be a completely different shape. I have mapped it. I have added a material. I have assigned the material and I have set up a node group. You can do this much for homework if you like. On the next section, we're going to learn how to play more with the nodes and go from there. I'll see you back here soon.